students in this lecture we will discuss about the heme proteins what are heme proteins and what are the different functions of heme proteins heme proteins they can also be called as heme h e m e the spelling may be h e m e or may be h a e m e or may be h a e m e they may be heme protein they may be hemoprotein they also called as h a e m o p r o t e i n so hemoproteins all are heme protein heme protein is a metal protein that contains a heme prosthetic group now what do we mean by heme prosthetic group so heme prosthetic group is a non protein part of a protein that combines with the protein so what do we mean by heme prosthetic group so heme prosthetic group is the non protein part okay where no protein is there and this prosthetic group is combined with the protein part thus it is called as heme protein the one part is heme actually and the another is protein so heme is the prosthetic group and this prosthetic group uh, together with protein is called as heme protein now these uh, metal proteins these heme proteins they are also called as metal proteins why metal proteins because the proteins are having metal so these are also called as metal proteins in uh, these heme uh, heme proteins the heme group that is the prosthetic group it functions to carry oxygen it may carry oxygen it may participate in oxygen reduction or electron transfer or some other kind of processes so this heme protein is very important and the prosthetic group that is heme group of these proteins they are very important and they uh, they they carry uh, the oxygen they may helpful in oxygen uh, reduction they may be helpful in electron transfer so there are different kinds of heme proteins we will discuss later so these heme group they are mainly responsible for different kind of functions in the biological systems heme protein it heme binds to a protein it may be bind either covalently or non covalently or both so heme is bind to the protein in the heme protein and this binding may be via covalent bond or may be via non covalent bond or may be via both kind of bond now if we will go to the structure of hemo protein so to discuss to understand the structure of hemo protein first we have to understand the structure of heme because heme is the main prosthetic group in the heme proteins so i am again repeating this uh, i have already uh, st- uh, that taught you in the previous lectures previous videos but i am again Uh, teach you that uh, the basic unit of heme is porphyrin actually, and in the porphyrin there are four pyrrole rings, and these four pyrrole rings they are joined together by a methane group, and these uh, pyrrole rings the all the substituent are H. So this is a macrocyclic ligand, th- which is tetradentate. so four nitrogen atoms are there so it is a macrocyclic tetradentate heterocyclic ligand because hetero uh, cyclic compound is pyrazole so this is porphyrin and if the uh, groups uh, that are h in the pyro all the uh, all the four pyrrole rings if they are different substituents like r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 r6 r7 r8 then this porphyrin is called as porphyrin now this porphyrin together with the metal center 
so here you can find the metal center is ferrous iron so this is generally a dipositive species generally because this ligand this macrocyclic ligand is dianionic ligand so this uh, porphyrin ring along with the metal it is known as metalloporphyrin or we can say it as heme so this is heme okay heme is the metal plus along with generally this is the iron center and with iron center with the porphyrin ring it is called as metalloporphyrin or heme so this is the prosthetic group heme that is attached to the the uh, the protein part so that it can form the heme protein now the a we will see later on the different kind of metalloproteins they may have different kind of these r groups or they may have different kind of uh, uh, the metal center with a different oxidation state actually the metal center will be iron but this may be in the plus 3 state or may be in plus 2 state the basic porphyrin ring will remain the same only the difference is in the metal cations uh, oxidation state and you will find the other ligands the two ligands which can bind with this iron they may be differ so in all metalloporphyrins in all the heme proteins the porphyrin ring is the basic ring but the difference is the oxidation state of iron and the other difference is the the other ligands which are present at the axial position to this fe because this fe can be hexa coordinated but here in heme prosthetic group it is tetra coordinated with four nitrogen centers so uh, there may be possibility of two ligands at the axial position this is actually a plane this is a plane of porphyrin ring where the iron exists in the form of plus 2 or plus 3 and above the plane and below the plane there may be two kind of ligands the difference in all the hemo uh, proteins is the attachment of different kind of ligands to this iron cation at the axial position and this iron atom may also exist in different oxidation state you will find later on now if we see the types of heme prosthetic group so oh, the types of heme prosthetic group is of three types heme a heme b and heme c so if you see the heme a uh, the basic the most of the heme proteins they are having heme b type Uh, that is heme b actually uh, heme b uh, prosthetic group they have in the heme b prosthetic group i will show you first the other diagram of heme b then i will uh, go to for the comparison of heme a heme b and heme c so here i have shown uh, the heme the porphyrin ring uh, uh, here at the left side where you will find that first second third and fourth they are four pyrrole rings and with the first pyrrole ring you will find methyl group and vinyl group on the pyrrole ring then on the second pyrrole group you will again find methyl and vinyl group then on the third ring you will find methyl and propionate group and in the fourth uh, pyrrole ring you will find propionate and methyl group so in this way you will find in all the pyrrole rings there are four methyl groups uh, one in each uh, pyrrole ring and you will find in the three first second and third the first substituent is methyl okay here also methyl here also methyl but in the fourth one the methyl is on the other carbon atom so it is the second substituent the first substituent is propionate so you have to learn about this then you can easily draw the structure of heme b okay so this is the basic rule for the drawing the structure of heme b so this is the heme b example where you will find to the first uh, 
pyrrole ring methyl and vinyl groups are there then on the second methyl and vinyl group are there on the third methyl and propionate group are there and on the fourth the the order will change and the propionate will be first and then methyl group was present now here the structure i have again shown this is the first pyrrole ring this is the second pyrrole ring this is the third this is the fourth and in in uh, between iron second is present so this is the heme actually this is the porphyrin ring uh, here i had not uh, not shown the iron but in this uh, right side structure i had shown the iron so this is the actually the heme where you will find in the first ring the first uh, substituent is methyl then vinyl methyl then vinyl methyl then propionate and then propionate and methyl so this is the structure of heme b now we will see how it is dif different from that uh, of the uh, a and c so again in uh, the center i have drawn the heme b in heme b you can find methyl uh, vinyl methyl vinyl methyl propionate and propionate methyl so how this heme b is differ from that of heme a in case of heme a you will find the methyl side chain at position 8 is oxidized to formyl group so here you can find this methyl group is oxidized to formyl group and hydroxy ethyl farnesyl group that is an isopropanoid chain has been attached at the side chain of two position so you can see here where the vinyl group is present in the heme b this has been replaced by hydroxy ethyl farnesyl group okay so this is the difference of heme a at the position second and at position eight so this is the difference with the heme b now if we compare this heme b with the heme c then we will find the difference at here so the vinyl groups they have been replaced by thioether linkage so two thioether linkages are present in place of these vinyl groups so these are the basic difference between heme b heme c and heme a and most of the heme proteins they are containing heme b the iron uh, cations valency may be different but the porphyrin ring substituents are same as that of heme b now if we see the heme proteins i have told you that there are some differences in between different kind of heme proteins in heme proteins the heme consists of fe2 plus or fe3 plus so i have told you that the difference in uh, among all the heme proteins is that the iron valency may differ it may be fe2 plus is it may be fe3 plus at the center of porphyrin ring in, in each case uh, the heme proteins they are six ligated structures so this fe2 plus or fe3 plus they are surrounded by six ligands okay the four ligands are the nitrogen atoms of the four pyrrole in the porphyrin ring i have shown you the four ligands are the nitrogens of four pyrrole ring and the fifth ligand that is called as the proximal ligand generally an amino acid residue of the protein present at one of the axial site of the iron now uh, in heme protein this heme group is surrounded by a protein then it is together it is called as heme protein so the fifth ligand is generally the amino acid residue so this is the fifth ligand is generally it is an amino acid residue and you will see that this amino acid residue may be cysteine may be serine may be any kind of amino acid that is present in the protein of the protein that is surrounded around the heme prosthetic group so different kind of amino acid residue may be there okay so if we find the fifth ligand 
that is the amino acid residue so this is a histidine residue in case of heme group of oxygen carrying heme protein so what are the oxygen carrying heme proteins they are myoglobin they are hemoglobin so myoglobin and hemoglobin uh, there fe2 plus ion is present at the center of porphyrin ring and four uh, four coordination will be uh, balanced by the four nitrogens of the four pyrrol rings and one uh, the fifth ligand is the histidine residue of the protein and the sixth ligand is the oxygen molecule and that will act as the distal ligand so all the six uh, the six coordination will be satisfied in case of oxygen carrying heme proteins now in case of the enzymes so enzymes may also be heme proteins so if the heme proteins they are acting as enzyme the fifth ligand may be any of these residues the fifth ligand may be cysteine may be histidine may be methionine or may be tyrosine residue in the heme group so this cysteine histidine methionine and tyrosine they may be present in the protein that surrounds the heme group of enzyme so the fifth ligand may be any of these while in case of cytochromes cytochromes they are generally the heme proteins which uh, can uh, transfer the electrons so these are electron carrying heme proteins and in this case both fifth and sixth ligands they are the amino acid residues in the heme group while in case of enzymes the sixth ligand is generally the water molecule okay uh, like uh, in case of hemoglobin myoglobin the sixth ligand is generally oxygen in case of enzymes the sixth ligand may be water molecule while in case of cytochromes or electron carrying heme proteins the sixth and fifth ligands they are generally the amino acid residues so this is the basic structure of uh, the oxygen carrying heme protein that uh, is uh, myoglobin uh, unit so in this case you can find the iron second is at the center of this porphyrin ring so for coordination they are satisfied by the nitrogen 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 the fifth one uh, is satisfied by the histidine protein or uh, histidine amino acid residue of the protein while the sixth uh, coordination will satisfied by the oxygen molecule and this red colored surrounding is the protein molecule so that it it can uh, called as the heme protein likewise in case of enzymes so this is the enzyme where you will find that the iron may be present as fe2 plus or fe3 plus the four coordination uh, takes place with the four nitrogen of the four pyrrole rings the fifth one is with the cysteine it may be with the histidine it may be with the tyrosine of the protein molecule while the sixth will be generally the water molecule while in case of the cytochromes that are electron carrying heme proteins here you will find that this is the uh, center of the heme protein so this is the center of heme protein and you will find that the four valencies uh, the four coordination they are satisfied by the four nitrogen of the pyrrole ring while the two other uh, ligands that are present will be the amino acid residue of the protein so this green colored structure is the protein helix so the axial position of the cytochromes will be satisfied by the uh, the amino acid residues of the protein that is that surrounds the heme group now uh, what are the roles of heme proteins so these uh, heme proteins they have uh, a number of diverse biological functions they may transport oxygen so the oxygen transporting heme proteins they include cytoglobin hemoglobin leg hemoglobin myoglobin neuroglobin so these are the different oxygen transporting heme proteins now the heme protein can act as enzyme 
and these enzymes generally activates O2 for oxidation or hydroxylation. So these enzymes they include cytochrome P450, cytochrome C oxidase, catalase, ligninases and peroxidases. And these heme proteins they also act as electron transferring agents. So electron transferring uh, heme proteins are cytochrome A, cytochrome B and cytochrome C. So this heme protein can uh, take part in a diverse uh, types of biological functions. Now let's conclude the lecture and in this lecture we have discussed about the heme proteins. So what are the heme proteins? The heme plus proteins. So in heme that is the prosthetic group that is non-protein part of these proteins. It is having the, the metal cation that is surrounded or you know, the attached with the porphyrin ring and generally the porphyrin ring is heme. The, the, the porphyrin ring plus the, the iron center, it is generally heme B. Then we have studied about the, uh, the structure of different kind of heme proteins where you will find that uh, the iron cation is surrounded by six ligands. Four ligands are the, uh, the four nitrogen of the four pyrrole rings while the fifth one is generally the amino acid residue of the protein and the fifth one may be water molecule or oxygen while in case of electron carrying heme proteins the fifth and sixth ligands they are generally the amino acid residues of the proteins then we have studied about the role of these heme proteins and they may function as uh, the uh, electron carrying agents they may act as in the oxygen transport or they may act as the enzymes in the biological systems so this is all about the heme proteins in the next lecture, we will discuss about the working of cytochrome P450, how it, is, how it works and what is the structure of this heme protein cytochrome P450. So, thank you very much.